Okay, we're going to do a digestion of protein experiment. In this experiment, we're going to be looking at um, digestion of the protein egg white and what conditions are needed for the digestion of protein in the stomach. So we have some egg white. And you can see here in each test tube, there's going to be three pieces of egg white. In test tube A, we're going to put the enzyme pepsin. Um, with our egg white. In test tube B, we're going to put acid. This is hydrochloric acid that's normally found in the stomach. And in test tube C, so test tube B will also have three pieces of egg white. And test tube C, we're going to have five mils of the hydrochloric acid found in the stomach and five mils of pepsin, the enzyme pepsin, um, plus the three pieces of egg. And the enzyme pepsin is the enzyme that digests protein. So we're going to leave um, these pieces of egg white, so these three different test tubes of egg white with the different liquids, and leave them in the test tubes for a few days. Okay, so this is the digestion of protein lab, and we have left our egg white for more than a week now. Um, you can see here test tube C, which had pepsin and the acid has um, been digested the most. Not much has happened in test tube B, which is just acid. And test tube A, egg white is still pretty big. It's got a little bit cloudy. So you can see the difference. Test tube C definitely has the most digestion of the protein happening. Did take a few days in the stomach. The digestion of protein can take hours, but certainly not days. It's speeded up by the fact that the stomach is squeezing the food, so breaking it down into small pieces, so there's more surface area for the pepsin and acid to attack it. It also, the stomach is a lot warmer than this room has been, and a hotter room speeds up the, the chemical reaction. So this is the digestion of protein. Uh, your stomach needs the pepsin, the en that's the enzyme that breaks up the protein plus the acid to work efficiently.